What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. And I am, <clears throat> look at the background, look at my room. See all them clothes on the bed? Undecided. Also, those are clothes that's being undecided whether I want to pack them and go to Michigan. Yes, the Michigan vlog. I am going to Michigan. Uh, later on this evening, we will be driving to Michigan. And um, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited to go back home and see everybody. Um, also, um, I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment right now. And um, I have to get my tire that's ordered. It's finally here. Hopefully, it's supposed to be here. Um, on my car, I busted my tire. I was texting and um, driving. Right up on the curb. Yeah, I know. I ain't gonna do that anymore. But anyway, uh, so it took like three to five business days for that special tire to come in. I don't know why Kumo tires are so special, but um, I'm getting that tire on and I'm going to get my prescriptions filled. So while I'm in Michigan, I don't be like, I ain't got my prescription. Oh, I need this. And running around to these different um, CVS is talking about, can you give me a couple of them till I get to the doctor? No, I ain't got time for that. So I'm on my way to the doctor's office right now and getting the tire put on my car and stay tuned. Okay, so y'all, I'm here at my doctor's office and I'm about to head in. And before I head in here, I got to tell y'all something. I stopped off to get me some, you know, lunch, breakfast, whatever, because I hadn't had anything. And so I stopped at McDonald's and I got a large Diet Coke and a fish fillet sandwich. Opens up the fish fillet sandwich. I'm just gonna show you better not tell you. On this sandwich, there's a black mark which was looking like some charcoal that I smeared off. And then over here is some black stuff. And here is some black stuff. I don't see if y'all can see this black stuff that's all over this bun. And inside this bread is a, a black mark. Anyway, I don't know if that's not big to you guys, but it's big to me because I expect that when I pay for some food, that it's supposed to be clean, you know. So I called back up there and was like, I'm not eating this sandwich because first of all, it's dirty, a dirty sandwich and I ain't pay for no dirty fish filet sandwich. Okay. Only for him to kind of like justify it. And maybe it's me. Y'all comment below if it was just me tripping out. But, um, I said, you know, I'm not eating this sandwich. It's dirty. It was dropped on the floor and stuff. You know, this way this camera. And, uh. I said it looked dirty with like it was dropped on the floor and um, I was like I want my money back I said I don't even want no I don't want to replace I want my money back because at this time y'all dirty to me you know but I ain't say that I just said you know I just want my money back you know I, I you know because the sandwich looked dirty but he you know it's like he justified it with an attitude like um that's uh you come up here and we'll replace your sandwich or we'll give your money back but then nobody drop your sandwich on the floor it's um uh first of all we was it was steamer uh we was steaming and it's from the steamer we was cleaning out the steamer and at this point I'm like I don't care where it's from whether it's the floor or y'all cleaning out your steamer, I shouldn't have uh, uh, particles from your, you cleaning out your steamer on my sandwich. You know what I'm saying? But it sounded like you tried to justify it when you was like, anybody drop your sandwich on the floor. And I was like, you know, he was like, I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just letting you know. Um, no, you was trying to justify it to me. You know, that's the way I took it. But I mean, even if, you know, it's like he could have said it like, um, you know, I, I apologize, ma'am, you know, um, cause this is how I would have said it. I, I apologize, ma'am, you know, um, um, we'll replace your sandwich or we give you your money back with no problem. But, the, the, you know, just to t let you know, it wasn't, it, it didn't drop on the floor, man. We was, we was cleaning the steamer and I do apologize about that. And that's the steamer, you know, particles on. He could have said it like that, but you know, didn't nobody drop your sandwich on no floor. I mean, like, who you talking to? You know what I'm saying? So then, like, you know what? I ain't coming to y'all no more. So many McDonald's around here to worry about, you know, going to y'all McDonald's. But that's so rude how he said it and try to justify that. But anyway, let me get up in here and um see what's going on. Get my prescriptions filled so I can get ready to get on the road. I just had to share that with y'all. You know what I'm saying? My mouth was set for that sandwich. <laughs> but that's okay. I ain't need it. Okay. She want me to have an EKG, like a stress test done on me because... I told her that my heart be, um, be, <clears throat> you know, it be palpitating and stuff like that. Anyway, y'all, and I forgot to tell y'all that also.
I lost I lost 30 pounds I'm looking like that because I thought I, would, I wanted to be more I know it can't be I started this thing and at the end of November here it is March 1st so I did lose 30 pounds I'm thankful for that I wanted to be more but anyway She's going to do a stress test on me because, like I said, I've been having heart palpitations, y'all. And um, I told her the episodes that I be having. I don't know if it's uh, panic attacks that I be having. But um, it's like um, sometimes when I happen to occur in any, any place, I'll be walking and all of a sudden I'll stop. Because I feel like my heart stopped for a minute. And I don't know what this is, but it feel like my, my heart stops and I go real faint. I'll be like... But it's like, I don't know if my heart stopped or something feeling funny or I feel real faint because if my heart stopped, of course I don't think I could talk, you know? So it feel like I go real faint, everything go dim and I be like, Jesus, like that. And then um, when it uh, it goes away, um, I have pressures like squeezing my neck and like the top of my head when it gets done, I feel real lightheaded and I'm, I'm left real shaky and stuff like that, come on talking to my vlog you okay <laughs> anyway so the doctor walked in and i was telling y'all something before she had walked in um i was saying how i be getting uh you know choked up like my heart my heart feels like it stops for a second um and then uh it's like i feel like real faint like you know for about maybe three seconds or something and then all of a sudden um i feel like the squeeze and pressure that like goes through you know my neck like something choking me and it like it feel like it moves up and then sometimes it leaves the back of my head painting and um and it leaves me shaky afterwards i guess because i had got shook up and stuff like that so i told her that's that's what's going on with me now i don't have these often but i, I think that they're panic attacks i think that's what it is because before i had looked it up um, and, it, and it described what a panic attack was. Um, but I, I, I said something to her because I had like two panic attacks like last month, like back to back. And I normally don't have that. I mean, it's every blue moon that this episode will happen. Like uh, when I get too stressed, um, when I'm getting upset about uh, things, I got hyped up. You know what I'm saying? And then like later on um, that week, you know, it'll it'll bring on a, a panic attack. And so I'm figuring, you know, that's that's what you know that is but anyhow however thank you jesus she gave me a, a ekg i had one done and she came back and said your ekg looks good but i still you know might want to send you to a cardiologist for like a a stress test or something to see if you know um all is well is there not which i know all is well because my life is in god's hands y'all my life is in god's hands i trust god with my life see this is why uh when i be talking about scriptures and everything and i talk about the lord a lot um Ain't no faking and shaking on my end. And I'm going to say so. Say this. Um, I'm not going to hell. I, I don't want to bust hell wide open. So I ain't out here. One of these fake Christians. That's um, living one way. And doing another. That's a hypocrite. That's somebody that's saying. The meaning behind a hypocrite. Is somebody who is um, portraying to be Christ like. And then behind your back. Uh, uh off camera um they live in another type of life you know totally different from what they you know say that they are you know what i'm saying but um for a christian um to to have uh flaws we, we all fall short of the glory of god that's the scripture and we make mistakes and so what we do is we get back up and we repent about it and we don't do it again that's the difference between a hypocrite and a christian i ain't out here living no any type of way because i'm not gonna bust hell wide open you know what they talk about um a lot of uh preachers and things that be in church um they say they be up here preaching the word of god and then all of a sudden you know what i'm saying you find out they sleeping with the um the saints and stuff like that uh you find out that uh some preachers smuggle money it's not always preachers as evangelists prophets you got fake false prophets the bible said that they was gonna go out amongst the land and in times and stuff and so this is why i'm saying you know i don't know why i'm stressing this point but you know i guess because i'm at this doctor's office and i'll let y'all know you know because a lot of accusations were 
uh, and I'm not worried about what people say, but I'm saying it's a lot of accusations behind uh, me saying, you know, this woman fake. She a fake Christian. Ain't nothing about me fake. Cause first of all, I'm gonna tell you about me. I'm a. I'm, I, if anybody who knows me know that I'm a straight up honest person. I'm gonna tell you where I'm coming from. You know, if I got a problem with y'all, let you know I got a problem with you. Um, if I'm feeling some type of way and I didn't say something and I may have cursed you out, um, and I'll let somebody know. Yeah, you know, I, I got upset and I said this to. I have went to my pastor. A couple couple times and say you know um i don't want to sing in a praise team today why because i cussed sister such and such out last night about my kids you know that's how honest i am i'm an honest person you know that does not mean i'm a hypocrite you know it just means that you know um i fall i'm human you know and i um but i'm saying this to say you know i'm not gonna play with hell I'm not going to play with God. I'm not going to hell. I'm not going to be sitting up here living one way and doing another thing. And when I come in here about my health, it's like I'm getting myself checked out. But at the same time, I'm confident. I'm confident. I have that assurance in God to know that he has me. And I'm also uh, will go as far as to say is that if something was going on and if something was wrong, I know that my life is in God's hands. I know that I lived all that I know how and I lived all I can. And if something was to happen to me, I'm going to be in the arms of God. I'm, I'm going. I'm not going to be, uh, like I said, waking up in no devil's hell uh, because I was down here playing with God and playing with God's word because that's that I don't do. Now, do we act silly and play around in the church with church folks? Uh, if we around amongst each other, how church folks be acting? Yeah, church folks, not saints of God, church folks. How folks acting, you know, it may be a silliness, you know, but as far as playing with God's word, never that, never that. Ain't no fake bone in my body. Y'all know straight up front, like I said, over and over again, I'm transparent. I have, I'm a Christian and I have feelings, but I just wanted to say that. I went all around Robin Hood burn, but... I'm telling y'all now, I know that my life is in God's hands. I know that, you know, my blood work is good. Um, and uh, that's good news to me, y'all. You know, that's, that's good news. And I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful that my life is in his hand. And if I was living out here like a dog and been all scary and ain't living right and a hypocrite, I'd be scared. I would be scared because I know I ain't living right. Like, if something was to happen, like, oh, God. See, I didn't say here and did this. And, oh, Lord. I said, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? So live right. Live right, and you ain't got to worry about that type of foolishness. Go on and, 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 and give the Lord your whole heart, your whole mind, and your whole soul. And you ain't got to worry about if something going on wrong in your body, whether you're going to make it in the kingdom or not. No. Go and live right. You know where you're going. Because if I shut my eyes today or tomorrow, and I'm in the arms, and I, and I know I'm going to heaven, it's better than down here. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I ain't going to miss nobody because I ain't going to know. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm on my way to discount tires. Another blessing because they don't have my um, Kumo tire in for my car. So what he's going to do is he's going to put me a, a new tire on for now. and Because um, I told him I was going out of town. He's going to put me a new tire on for now. And then when I get back, um, he's going to have my tire put on. He's going to do this free of charge. So I ain't got to worry about the $150 right now. I'll just have it when I get back. And I'm thankful for that. So God is good. All right. So uh, I just want y'all to know I'm ending this vlog like this. Um, y'all don't need to go see me put on the tire. Y'all don't need to go see me um, uh, act a fool about this sandwich. And I ain't going to act a fool about no sandwich. But uh, y'all don't need to be with me when I go return this sandwich and get my money back. Tell that man I don't appreciate his steamer messing my sandwich up like that. Peace out in Jesus' name.